All right, welcome to Wikipedia Rabbit Hole Episode 3. This particular episode deals with satellites. And are there any pictures of them? And this was a long time coming. Uh, Back when I first, first, like two years ago when I first started thinking about Flat Earth, there was a video by Jaron, Jaronism, and he was talking about DirecTV satellites, or maybe he was talking about Dish Network. I forget who it was. He's talking about satellites, though, trying to find some proof of them. It was a pretty good video. I don't remember everything. It's been two years, and I've only seen the video once. But it just kind of planted that thing in the back of my mind. And then I saw Jay Dreamer's All Satellites Dishes Face South video. And that was really interesting. In fact, if you haven't seen that one, he's got 172,000 views on it. This was an interesting video. Plus, the, the Jay Dreamer site is pretty cool. I wish he had shorter videos because I don't have the time to watch him talk for an hour but that video planted a little seed in my mind whenever i travel now i take a look at the satellite dishes and sure enough they're all pointing the same direction whether i'm in florida or north carolina or balt maryland it's it's all been the same since i've seen that video Uh, then just recently uh, mark Sargent reposted the flat earth man his song uh this the satellite hoax if you haven't seen that video yet, that's a pretty good song. I'm not even a country fan, but I enjoyed I listened to it a few times already in the past two days. So there's that. Wikipedia rabbit hole. This episode could get long. So what I'm gonna I don't even know what this video is gonna be yet. There's no script. I'm going to Wikipedia here and we're gonna examine if there's any real photographs of satellites on Wikipedia, and we're gonna start with DirecTV, and who knows, this is the rabbit hole, who knows where our journeys will lead. So here we are, the DirecTV satellite fleet, I'm not gonna read it, but I noticed they have a chart here, and you would have thought they would have had more satellites than this, but then again, I guess they only need three if it's, if we really do live on a spherical ball, you just need to have the triangulation of it. So these are the ones that they're advertising as existing. So I opened all of them in new tabs to save time. So this is DirecTV 4S. There's no picture. But actually, it doesn't even say there's an article. So that one will cancel. This one, DirecTV 5. No picture. Mission duration, 12 years. And I know nothing about satellites, to be honest. I'm not a pro. I've never installed a satellite. I don't even, I've never even had DirecTV service. Although I did have, when I bought Madden 25, it came with a digital subscription to the NFL Sunday package. I don't think that qualifies, though. All right, and now there's the next, there's all these links to other satellites here. We'll go back to this. We're going to go back to this page. See, because like one of those links led to this. So this is the Insat 3C. This is not a DirecTV satellite, but it's obviously CGI cartoon. So we have a cartoon there. This one, this this just led back to this page, so we'll close that out. Actually, I think it's relating to these articles. The Spaceway satellites were originally designed for use by Hughes Electronics to provide both TV and broadband internet service. The satellites were repurposed for direct TV after News Corporation purchased a controlling interest in Hughes. So News Corporation, is that, that's who owns Fox, right? And so that means they own direct TV because they own Hughes? Uh, so let's see, Spaceway. No picture for Spaceway. It's just text. But there's a bunch of other links. But nothing too obvious there. So we'll just close this one out. No picture for Spaceway. All right, and that's DirecTV 1R. No picture. Galaxy 3C, a geostationary communication satellite located at 95 degrees west. Launched in 02 with a sea launch vehicle. C and K bands. Let's just see what the C launch. So there's a picture of the C launch. It's a rocket. So (laughs) some of these articles do have pictures. And this looks like a professionally taken photograph. Because I do know a guy that takes photographs. And it's not hard to believe that this is a real picture. So we'll close that out. DirecTV 8. No picture. No article. Spaceway F1. No picture. Do we have any links? 12-year life expectancy. Why? Why? Why is it so, so short? Okay. 
Space Way F2, no picture. 2005. So this thing's going to fall out of the sky in 12 years. So it must have fallen already. Uh, 12 plus 5 is 17. So 2017, I guess, is the end of the mission. DirecTV 9S, no article. DirecTV 10. Direct Broadcast Satellite provides HDTV launched by International Launch Services in 07 in Kazakhstan. Yeah. So we got a picture of, <laughs> like, this is not, the, we got a picture of this, but this is not what the article is about. I guess maybe that goes with that particular satellite. I don't know. So there's that. No photograph. DirecTV 11. Also known as the D11 is a Boeing Model 702 satellite. So let's see. Is there a picture for that? Oh, we got a picture, but it's a cartoon. So that one doesn't count. DirecTV 11. Are there any links at the bottom? Oh, okay. We got a bunch of links from 2008. So we'll leave that open. This is a cartoon, so we'll close that. We, we could close this one because that one's a cartoon. DirecTV 12. I think that's one we just looked at. And we're leaving that open for these. And leaving this one open for that. Was there any pictures? Nope. DirecTV 14, no pictures. Sentinel-1A, European radar imaging satellite, launched in 2014. Let's see if this is a real picture. That looks like a cartoon to me. What do you guys think? That's looking pretty cartoonish. We'll close. Well, can I go back? Okay. Do we got any links at the bottom? Not really. So we got a cartoon for the Sentinel-1. The IRNSS-1B. No picture. Constellation of satellites. What if all the stars were satellites? <laughs> geosynchronous orbit. And imagine this. Okay. So if all these satellites are in geosynchronous geosynchronous orbit, which means it moves with this with the with the planet. Well, I guess there aren't really any fixed stars, but it wouldn't it be something if if every star was actually a satellite? All right, so no picture there. We haven't hit any real pictures yet, have we? Okay, wait, I was looking at this one. The Progress M23M. Hmm. Six hour rendezvous. All right, so the, this is the nighttime view of the Progress M23M docked at the ISS. Is that a real picture? And it almost looks real. I guess this is the satellite. I don't know, maybe this one's real. Hard to tell though. The OFEC 10, we'll go back to that. The OFEC 10, reconnaissance satellites built by Israel, aerospace, no picture. Close that one. Egypt Sat 2. Well, we have a picture of it here. It's a remote sensing Earth observation satellite built by the Russian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We have a picture, but it's land based. So that doesn't really count. This could just be a model. We can't really tell if this is like a, a you know a Lego model set or what. All right, we do have some 2013 launches, so we'll go back to that. Okay, SpaceX, SpaceX CRS-3, launched in 2014. We got a picture of it, but let's see the height. Let, let's, let's see. This is one of an extensive series of still photos documenting the arrival and ultimate capture and berthing of the SpaceX Dragon at the ISS as photographed by the Expedition 39 crew members on board the orbital outpost. The spacecraft was captured by the space station and successfully berthed following the April 20 arrival. Hmm. I don't know. Because if it's at the ISS... It should be 250 miles in the sky. And I don't know. I mean, I guess they did a close-up on it, but I would expect the, the Earth to appear a little bit farther away. But, hey, at least there's a picture. Kicksat. Small satellite. Femto satellite. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Cube said, do we have any pictures? No. I mean, we have a guy, we have an engineer. Good for him. Good job. And we have, okay. No picture. Phone set. Okay. We actually got a picture. High altitude balloon test. Hold on a minute. <laughs> the phone set 1.0 during high altitude balloon test. The antenna made from yellow tape measured is deployed. Okay. So is it on a balloon? And that balloon got higher than any of the balloons that we've seen launched. Because we've never seen this kind of curvature on those on the balloon or even get this kind of a, a view. Hmm. But nice if they had a video of that out there somewhere. Phone set is an ongoing NASA project building nano satellites using unmodified consumer grade off the shelf smartphones and Arduino platform and launching them into low Earth orbit. This project was started in 09. Okay, it's only cost thirty five hundred dollars, seven thousand dollars. Sure, we could make these things. Chassis of a single standard CubeSat. Huh. CubeSat. Miniaturized satellite for space research. Well, that's kind of cute. All right, so it's not hard to believe these exist, and they're, they're not claiming that they're in space, that they're in low Earth orbit. So that's a little bit realistic. All right, what was this? This is still the DirecTV satellite fleet. All right. Graveyard orbit. <laughs> a graveyard orbit, also called junk orbit or disposal orbit, is an orbit that lies away from common operational orbits. <laughs> graveyard orbit. Awesome. What else we have? Collision avoidance. The Lagrangian point. Special relative angular momentum. All right, we'll close this one. Back to the SpaceX 2014. Well, you guys be the judge. I don't know. that. It looks like it could be real. It also looks like they could have taken this picture of this model and put it on top of a confused looking picture of the earth which could just be a square background image like a uh what do you would you call this a textured background if you were building a website <laughs> that's what it looks like let's in fact let's let's do a quick google search uh blue textured background images so it could be like one of these kind of things, right? You need this for your web page. You know, you get this. So we go back, we go back to this. And, and you know, some people get offended when it's like, well, anything we show you is fake. Well, it's like you look at it, you're like, all right, if, if, if it was fake, how would you do it? It's not too hard. You take a textured background. It's a square right there. And then you put the picture on top. And the lighting of this is a little bit suspicious. I guess, I guess this was, I don't know. But there it is. It looks like it could be fake. Looks like it could be real. Somebody might want to analyze this one. So there's that. SpaceX. We don't need that. Egypt sat. All right, let's take a look at some of these here. So these are orbital launches in 2014. Now, that SpaceX in 2014 had pictures. So let's open all these additional ones. Falcom, CRS Orb 1, the Flock, Lithuania, Litsat, Skycube, UAFSat. Yeah, all right, let's see if we got some pictures. GSAT 14, no pictures. Thiacom 6, well, we got a picture of the rocket that launched it, but we don't have a picture of the actual satellite. Cygnus CRS Orb 1, oh, okay, we got something. Arriving at the ISS. 
colorful part of Earth provides the backdrop for the scene. For the scene. Okay. Well, there you got that picture. You be the judge. Flock one. Okay. No picture. Lithuaniaca sat one. This is one of those cube sats. Yeah. So all these tiny satellites are out there now. Lit sat. We got a cartoon. It even has like that 80s look to it. Okay. Sky cube. Okay. So everybody's launching these little cubes now. Oh, is it a, this was a crowdsourced CubeSat uh, from Kickstarter. Successfully funded in 2012. It got 82,000 of... Okay. Finally launched aboard Cygnus CRS Orb 1. What was its purpose? Mission. SkyCube has three major mission components. The broadcast of messages from its radio, capture of pictures from space via its three cameras, and the deployment of a large balloon. Okay. This one we may have to investigate. Sky cubes taking pictures of space. UA UAP sat was a satellite situation in Earth orbit operated by students at Universidad Alas Peruanas. So in Peru, I guess. Launched on an Orbital Sciences Corporation and Terry's rocket alongside Cygnus CRS. Okay, orbital decay occurred on July 1st. So when was the first launched? So it was launched in January 9th. Man, they had a pretty good five, five months out of it. Yeah, hold on here. My wife's asking me if I want Taco Bell. And I do because I've lost a lot of weight. And I deserve a taco. Yes, I would like a taco. I would like... What would I like? I would like... I just want two soft tacos. And do I? Yeah, just two. Now, nah, one hard, one soft. One hard, one soft. Thank you. Although I just had dinner. But why pass up Taco Bell? All right, so we got this UAP satellite, no picture. Okay, we got the TDRS-12. This thing looks pretty cool. What's this? Look at that thing, bro. Inside the Astrotech payload processing facility in Titusville. Oh, Florida. NASA's tracking and relay data relay satellite TDRS-L spacecraft is undergoing pre-flight processing. Wow, that thing looks that thing looks really really cool. Cape Canaveral. Oh, we got some galleries down here. Uh huh. Okay, well, there's something. There's that. Uh huh. Well, now, see, of course, of course, they had to put this in here. The artist concepts drawing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, TDRS-12, constructed by Boeing. <sighs> Some of this stuff seems real. I mean, why would they make up all this crap? The Sky Cube. Let's see, there's got to be some Sky Cube pictures. Actually, just type in Sky Cube. Sky Cube. SouthernStars.com Sky Cube. Satellite. Okay, pictures of people. Shows you the pattern. Okay, it goes down like that. Could that be because it's the flat earth model? I don't know. Balloon. No pictures. Status. Cartoon. That's the best picture it got. Oh, here's the deployment. Whoa, whoa, whoa here we go. Ah, uh, that, uh. Hey, look at those. Yeah. Well. It's, 
Uh oh, do we got videos here? No way. Five seconds of a video. Oh come on, man. I, I'm, I'm in a way. I'm watching these, hoping that I'm, hoping that some kind of smoking gun comes. And that this looks like, <laughs> this looks like, uh, oh, it looks, it just, ah, oh, man, five seconds. I mean, I guess that's all that you need to see. All right, let's try this one. There it goes. Is there sound? Oh, uh, Nanorex could deploy. Okay. I mean, does that look like they're in outer space? I don't know. Let's see the comments. Did, did Flat Earthers... Oh, wait. Let's watch this on YouTube. Did Flat Earthers kill the comments? No comments. Well... It's kind of neat, but you know, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six. They just dropped, and then they just kind of hover in there. I don't know. Pretty cool in a way. At least they're putting something out there. ISS CubeSat deployment, thirty seconds. If they just so they just shoot out like that. They just shoot them. Oh, so it's a different angle. Wow. Props to them. They had multiple angles. It looks kind of kind of kind of spherical from this angle. I don't know. Does this one have any comments? Three thousand views. I guess comments were disabled. All right, but those don't count. It looks like they're just launching these things out, like literally launching them, like shooting them out. But pretty neat to learn about the Sky Cube. It'd be nice if they had like a section of all the photos they took, though. Sky Cube. Photos from space. How about under images? Nope, a bunch of cartoons. So they could film this part, but nothing else. All right, so that one's still undetermined. It's, it's, it's not definitive. It's not, you know, but pretty neat. Egypt sat, all right, so we did, that was uh, the January ones. So let's, uh, well, let's get some of these out of the way here. DirecTV 12, oh yeah, so this was the 2008, that's why we kept it. Okay, we're keeping these to link. This thing looks more like a background for a computer. All right, that's 2008, 2009, 2014, 2004, we close that one. We close the DirecTV. And was this 2001 orbital launches? Well, you know what? These older ones, I couldn't expect them to have pictures as they as I would the newer stuff. So the Shenzhou 4, nothing. Progress M19, no picture. What's astounding is how many of these articles don't have a picture. Because who, who could possibly be putting this stuff up? Okay, well, what do we have here? A cartoon. So lots of cartoons... Because I never even heard of the Adios 2 and, you know, this had to have been done. I, uh, I know you're probably thinking I sound like such an idiot right now. But we're just going through the exercise right now. We're, we're doing preliminary research and this is about as far as my research is going to go into this. Okay, nothing there. NOAA 17. <laughs> Tech 9, the NOAA gold satellite. Progress. I'm no pictures. All right. I'm kind of bored of this topic at this point. Well, let's see. It's 2007, 2008. Oh, can we go? Can we go to the latest? 2010 in space flight. Let's go to the last. Let's look at all these launches. They're just launching all over the place. 
Look at the dude. Look at all these launches. Deep Space Rendezvous. Flyby of Titan. Wow. <laughs> Man, look at this. How many launches did USA do? Eight? Target orbit, a lot of stuff to look at. But I got other things to do right now, like eat tacos. Okay, look at all those launches. We are a spacefaring species. 2012. Can I just, how do I get to, hey, is this a real picture? It's another one, the dra a screenshot from high definition video. It's Dragon approached the ISS. What are they doing on the ISS? Look at all these, all those launches. I'm, I'm proud of humanity for, for being able to do this if they're really doing it. Look at all these references. 2013. Okay. The maiden space flight of the Antares launch vehicle. 15 astronauts into orbit. Hall, suborbital, low Earth, low Earth, atmospheric research, Mars orbiter. Let's get to the present. Uh, 2014, Irani. 2014 in spaceflight, 92 launches, 88 successes, two failures, two partial failures. So basically 90 in the books. Not bad for man. Oh, okay. Well, here's the timeline of space flight. 2022, they got stuff. Look at this. They got they got stuff into the future. Pretty amazing. 2015. Up. Oh. <laughs> 2015 is the year of the Pluto picture. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I mean, what what a time the shot. New Horizons on July 13. Spacecraft was 760,000 kilometers from the surface. All right. 2016. Oh, yeah. The year of the Jupiter mission. And they landed the rocket on the thing. Way to go, SpaceX or whoever. All right, let's see, 2017. <laughs> you guys think that's real? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, artist impression. Uh, I like it too. Oh, yeah, is it going to show us all the different rockets? Oh, it's a little, it's a little harder. Let's, let's click on this one, the Cardo Sat. No picture. Let's close it. What is this, 2014? Well, let's launch all of these here. The Hayabusa, the Proicon, Orion, GSAT, Seabirds, Yamal, G3B, Condor, Astra, Fingen. Okay, what do we got? We got cartoons and asteroids. Asteroid sample return mission operated by the Japanese. Proyukon, no, no picture. Exploration flight. They show the launch, the rocket. That's a cool looking rocket. You gotta admit, this stuff is kind of cool. GSAT, no picture. Sears, cartoon. Yamal 401. No picture. 
03B, no picture. Condor, no picture. I'm gonna leave that there though. Okay, Rizzers, no picture. Astro, no picture. Finjin, not really a picture. All right, let's just get to 20. Oh, God. They don't give me the same. Uh, let's try the Canadian one. All right, you get the point here. Still picture. I mean, there's there, there were a few. To be fair, there were a few pictures. A couple of them looked kind of real. So, hey, maybe the satellites are there. The idea is that they're being held in the sky by air balloons. I don't know. So that's the thing. Flat Earthers, we really don't know. But the, the other side of the story is other people don't know either. So who knows? I, I, attacking satellites is probably an absurd kind of thing to go after. That's this. Thanks for watching Wikipedia Rabbit Hole. Yeah.